before and I hope you're doing well and of course Arnie does too. Now seeing as some of you guys like my largest fish videos, I thought it'd be interesting to go through some of the smallest fish in the world. So today I will be going through five of the smallest fish species in the world and we'll start off today in the Indonesian island of Sumatra as we have the Pado Cypris. Now the Pado Cypris is actually a genus of tiny cyprinids and on the island of Sumatra they're found in peat swamps and blackwater streams and in these waters they form shoals of up to 200 individuals and as they're so small they'll make an easy snack for many predators so they tend to stay near overhanging and submerged vegetation and the peat swamps in which they're found in are very acidic with the pH being as low as 4 in some areas and there are a few popular aquarium fish that also inhabit these waters with one of the prettiest species being the licorice garamis and in these dark waters they feed on plankton and other micro foods and this tiny fish also has a strange way of breeding as one species of Pedocypris is a bright red colour and they have a mark on their head which they use to lure the females and they spawn in a belly up position where the eggs are attached to the underside of plant leaves and you'll be surprised to know although they're very rare and very hard to get hold of there are some available for the aquarium trade and as they're so small you can almost fit them in any size tank even though you might not be able to see them and the Pedocypris isn't just the smallest fish in the world but it's thought to be the smallest vertebrate as well. This is future me editing this video and it turns out this species is no longer the smallest vertebrate in the world as that title now goes to this tiny little frog. But now I'll get back to the video. As the largest known individual measured in at just over 10 millimeters or around 0.4 inches and the smallest mature female measured in at 7.9 millimeters or around 0.31 inches and to put that into perspective that's around the same length as a grain of rice so it truly is a very tiny fish before our next species we'll be heading down into the deep ocean as we have photocarina spiniceps now this incredibly strange looking fish is a member of the anglerfish family but unlike many other anglerfish species this one is very small Small, but like other members of its family, it lures its prey into striking range using a bioluminescent sac at the end of their elysium. And in some cases, their prey can be as big as their own bodies. But all of the images that you've seen so far are of the female fish. And this female isn't remarkably small, as she's around the same length as a better. But the fish we're interested in is the male. And if you thought the female wasn't a looker, the male's even uglier. And the reason why this male is so small can be explained by the strange life cycle of this deep sea anglerfish. As the male fish will swim up to a female and fuse onto her back and in some cases this can be two three or even up to eight males and this essentially turns the female fish into a hermaphrodite as the female takes care of all the swimming and eating whereas the males provide her with everything she needs to reproduce and this tiny male is thought to be even smaller than the previously mentioned smallest fish in the world but it all gets very complicated as most of its life the male is not independent and the female of course gets a lot larger as the largest male specimen measured in at around 7.3 millimeters or around 0.28 inches and to put that into perspective that's around one and a half pencil rubbers long so you have to let me know down in the comments below which one of these two species you think is the smallest but for our next species we'll be heading off to the great barrier reef as we have the stout infant fish now this species is normally found at a depth of around 15 to 30 meters in coral reef lagoons and as this fish is so small there could be one right in front of you and you probably wouldn't see it and because of this only six specimens have ever been collected and what makes this fish even harder to find is that it lacks pigmentation and is transparent when it's alive and the life of a stout infant fish is very short and sweet as they're thought to only live to around two months old and as this fish is a relatively new discovery very little is known about their life cycle but they are thought to feed on the smallest of micro foods such as zooplankton and this fish is so tiny that you'll need around 500,000 of them to tip the scales at a pound as they're thought to reach a maximum size of around 10 millimeters or around 0.39 inches and to put that into perspective that's around the same length as a pea. So there really is a bit of a competition going on when it comes to the smallest fish in the world. But for our next species, we'll be heading over to the Indian Ocean and the Western Pacific as we have the Midget Dwarf Gobi. Now this species can be found in outer reef areas and lagoons, normally at depths of around 5 to 35 meters. And this tiny fish is extremely rare, but not an endangered species. It's normally found in the smallest crevices and trenches along the coral reefs. And there are actually a few other tiny gobi species in this genus, but none of them get quite as small as the midget dwarf goby and in the tropical waters in which they're found they're thought to feed on plankton and organic debris while they hide away from predators and I really would like to tell you more about this species but because they're so tiny and hard to find that's basically all the information there is about this species but what I can tell you is they reach a maximum size of around 10 millimeters or 0.39 inches so to put that into perspective that's around the same length as a pencil sharpener but for our final species we'll be heading to the mangrove forests of Southeast Asia 
Asia as we have the dwarf pygmy goby. Now this species has been sighted in the Philippines, Bali, Sulawesi and Singapore and it can normally be found along shady riverbanks at the edge of mangrove forests. And even though it's a very small fish, it's a very famous one as it used to be the national fish of the Philippines until they recently changed it to the milk fish. And in the muddy brackish waters in which they're found, they're known to feed on plankton and tiny invertebrates. And as they're so small, they can become an easy prey item for many predators. But to help combat this, they have almost transparent bodies, which makes them very hard to pick out from the muddy substrate. But being so small has its advantages, as when a predatory fish comes into the area, they can easily dart into tiny cracks and crevices that the larger fish can't. But in most cases, predatory fish aren't interested in the dwarf pygmy goby, as they're so small they're not worth hunting. As this tiny goby reaches a maximum length of around 1.1 centimeters, or around 0.43 inches. And to put that into perspective, that's around a pencil tip longer than the previous fish. But the problem with all of the fish in this list is that you're probably never going to see one of them, as most of them are very rare and almost impossible to find in the wild. But there are plenty of tiny fish that you can find in the aquarium trade, and these are a great option for those of you that don't have the space for a massive tank. And I'll blast through some of my favourite species that you can find in aquarium stores. And the first tiny fish is the Pygmy Corydoras. Now this species is endemic to Brazil, and these tiny fish max out at around 3 centimetres or 1.2 inches, so a shoal of these would make a great addition to any small tank. The next tiny aquarium fish is the Mosquito Raspora. This tiny fish is endemic to southwestern Borneo, and only reaches a maximum size of around 2 centimetres, around 0.8 inches, and it has some great colour for such a tiny fish. My next pick would be the Celestial Pearl Danio. These guys are found in small mountain pools in Myanmar, and again only reach around 2 centimetres long, or 0.8 inches. And these little fish are always active, so it would be a great centrepiece fish. But the next tiny fish is the dwarf puffer. These tiny puffer fish are endemic to the state of Kerala in India and only reach around 2.5 centimeters or one inch long and they're famous for having a massive personality. And our final tiny fish is the blue neon goby. These little guys can be found in the Philippines and max out at around four centimeters long or around 1.6 inches and they're a great tiny fish if you're looking for something different. But that's about it for this video. To be honest it's quite hard to tell which species is the official smallest fish in the world as each source seems to give a different answer but you guys can let me know which species you think is the smallest down in the comments below and I'll put a poll out too. But thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you liked it, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like these. But until next time, goodbye.